Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I wanted to talk a little bit about network attached storage, talk about some of the protocol choices that you might look at, and then benchmark it right after this. I wanted to take a look at those protocols that would be common if you had a Linux workstation or a Mac workstation or a Windows workstation or maybe a combination of all, all of those. But uh, so that's what I want to look at today. Uh, test methodology, I'm going to be testing SMB and NFS unencrypted. Uh, and then SSHFS, of course, has to be encrypted because that's the only mechanism it will use. Uh, I'm going to be using IO Zone 3 again for my tests. Uh, my server is a, it's a 4 gig, 4 core machine, and it uses, it has a, uh, it has two drives in it. They're both NVMEs. I'll be using the Data NVME, which is a, a Samsung, uh, I think it's a 970 Evo, one terabyte. So. It should be pretty good performance as far as uh, as far as the system is concerned. It should just max out on the network, which is my hope uh, when I was starting to run this anyway. So I'm mounting the same mount directory, but not all at the same time. So uh, that way it is it is going to exercise the same drive, and it, I don't have to worry about some operating system uh, service or process having I/O going on at the same time. So hopefully it isolates that a little bit. Uh, the server OS is uh, Ubuntu Server 20.10. Client is, is the same, of course, but it's the desktop version of 20.10. SMB is version 4.5.12, and, and that's both for the server and the client, which is the reason why I kept both of them the same uh, as far as Ubuntu is concerned, both 2010. Uh, also, NFS is version 1.3.4-2.5. Uh, for the server and the client, and then SSHFS is version 3.6.0, but it also uses OpenSSH server and OpenSSH client, so version 1.82 is what I'll be using for that. One of the, um, one of the other advantages to uh, SSHFS is that you can choose uh, and, and you're locked into like uh, with uh, NFS and Samba into particular in encryption algorithms. You're, you're not you're not locked in with SSHFS. You can change that. There, uh, I'll put my command mount in the uh, in the show notes so you can see that. Uh, you can change it to Cha Cha 2020 if you want, AES if you want, RSA if you want. So. Whatever it is you want to use, you can, and, and that you have the drivers in your Linux machine for that, uh, you can support that. So let's look at the first set of tests, which is the initial write and the read. I did clear the file because it was using the same, sh the, the same actual hard drive, and the hard drive is formatted as XFS. Uh, I tried this uh, with ext4 uh, and I got such mixed results. I just said, okay, I'm going back to XFS, where at least I know it's flat. So uh, just be aware of that, that the underlying file structure is XFS. So SSHFS on the initial uh, write it was pegged. I mean, that's my network runs at somewhere around 114 megabytes per second. I only have a one gig network, but the fastest I can push it uh, is uh, 114 megabytes per second. So uh, SMB uh, also pegged except for the first workload. And the same for NFS, it pegged except for the first workload. So they're, they're all out about the same. Uh, yeah, it's not really a big difference there. In the read, same thing, SSHFS was was quite a bit slower than the other two on the first workload, but the uh, second, third, fourth, and fifth, it was pegged. Same with uh, SMB, it was uh, a little faster than NFS, but not by much, but they all ran about the same speed once you get a number of users up and running on it. Random read, um, I just was blown away by SSHFS. I did not expect this. I didn't expect this kind of result from it, but hey, <laughs> that's why you test, you find out all these surprises. Um, SMB pegged out after the first and was a little faster again than NFS. And typically, with most people running NFS, I've seen the benchmarks, it's usually the other way around. 
until you start to get up into the larger files. That's why I chose 256 meg. Most of the most of the other ones uh, choose smaller files to start with, and then they work their way up to the larger ones. 256 meg, I wouldn't consider a big file. Uh, not today. <laughs> not certainly not today. Reread uh, pegged out on SSHFS and uh, SMB glitched out at four again. Uh, I have I've seen that a couple times where uh, on the rereads it seems to struggle when there's four, but when there's a, a smaller workload or a larger workload, it goes right back up and pegs out. So again, that could be my network. Uh, I do run Gluster, and there are times when Gluster does chat. So it may have picked that particular moment to decide to chat with uh, the other servers. So, uh, but I don't have any workloads currently active on it, but they do check. Uh, the uh, metadata from time to time. So that could have been what happened there. So uh, probably need to run it a couple more times to see if it happens over and over again. Although I did see that behavior on one other in front of this one. So don't know. But uh, yeah, NFS in the reread was a little faster than SMB. And uh, and then the P read, which is the buffered read, uh, SSHFS was again low on the first workload and then pegged out after that. Same with SMBs, and it was a little faster than NFS again, at least in, in my environment. So uh, mixed workload, uh, SSHFS did surprisingly well. So it's actually is pegged out at the network speed, where and then you know at the at the fifth group, and SMB and NFS actually exceeded the network speed. So I don't know uh, what kind of magic that was taking, but apparently it was writing more than that it was sending? I don't know. So, yeah, there's something going on there that's just kind of weird. I've seen that on other benchmark results with that test, and I've always been kind of surprised that, you know, your network performance can hit 210 megabits per second on a 1 gig network. Don't think so. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, and then the reverse read pegged and stride reads pegged after the first workload. <clears throat> SSH, again, is a little bit behind. SMB and NFS on the reverse, about the same, and they're real close on the stride reads. Uh, random right, uh, again, <laughs> SSHFS is just surprising me that it's just, it is performing as well as it is doing here. Uh, SMB and NFS, just about even. NFS is slightly slower, not, not significantly. Uh, SSHFS pegged uh, SMB. Which is surprising that SSHFS actually outperformed SMB and NFS in the rewrite. So maybe that's not such a bad protocol to be using. I mean, it's certainly simple to set up. Um, uh, and then PWrite, yeah, it's pegged out again. And then SMB, a little bit faster. NFS, a little bit slower. When we get into our last workloads, when we start doing the, now FRead and FWrite, I'll remind you that that is a C, that is the C library call uh, for standard I.O. So <clears throat> if you're running Linux workloads, you can expect to be doing a lot of F writes and a lot of F reads. Again, these are buffered. There's no way that and they, it ignores direct I.O. So, I mean, it just, it does what it wants to. And then, so the performance is ridiculous. Uh, but you can see that obviously NFS is scaling up nicely on both the F write and the F read. And SMB does fairly well on the first workload and then it dies it just it just can't keep up sshfs same thing it the it, it's quite a bit slower on those workloads so but i will say this it's pegged at the network speed i mean you can't tell this from there because it's so skewed that yeah so <laughs> sshfs and that's true for smb and nfs uh on the lower workloads and sshfs is pegged as well so I gave surprising results came from SSHFS. I wouldn't have expected it. Normally, my impression is if you encrypt traffic, it's going to take longer. But because of the in, because it's, I was using AES on this. Uh, I was utilizing the hardware, so maybe that helped help keep its uh, speed up. I don't know. Uh, I could try Cha Cha Twenty sometime, and maybe I should just delve in and try a whole bunch of different tests on SSHFS and see if I can break it. SMB is slightly faster on smaller workloads than NFS. Uh, NFS does, I mean, they're they're pretty equal. Now, if you get it, I know that if you get into smaller files, SMB will not perform as well as NFS. So you can go out and look at other people's benchmarks and you'll see that. That's pretty readily the case. 
but FREs and F rights are pretty good. I mean, NFS will it will just it just eats SMB up. But then it's a Linux workload, so that's what it's optimized for. So that's all. That's all I had for today. I just uh, I I wanted to kind of delve in and look at that a little bit. If you're interested in how to install these things, I know I've got one request to do that. But if you are, I have a poll that's running right now if, uh, as to what direction you guys would like to see the channel go in, uh, whether I should do more videos on internals or whatever. Go answer it, and then uh, that'll help help me decide what kinds of things I need to be producing further down the road. <laughs> Hope to see you all again real soon. Please like and subscribe. Hope to see you again in the next video. Bye for now.